So you've started your new business. Maybe it's a restaurant, a vacation rental. And by now you know, I gotta advertise on Facebook. So how do you get started? In this video, I'm gonna go through the top tips to getting started on Facebook for your business. My name is Joshua. I help hospitality providers and e-commerce clients to level up their business online. So if you're looking to get started on Facebook, this is the video for you. If you're here for the first time, then you gotta like this video, subscribe and click that notification bell so when I post more videos like this, you'll be notified. I post weekly videos to help you market your business online. So if you're starting on Facebook, what are the things you wanna get done? Now this might be a very obvious one, but it's amazing how much persons still use their personal Facebook page to run their business. And yes, there is a difference between your personal page and your business page. On your personal page, you're going to be adding friends and family so that you can connect with each other. But on your business page, you're going to have persons following your page, liking your page and creating that audience for you to do a lot more business related items such as advertise to them, target to the right audience or so forth. So how do you go about creating your Facebook page for your business? Let's look at a quick step in getting that done. So on your Facebook page, if you click on the menu item to the top right hand corner, you will see below the create section, you will see an option that says page. Click on it. When you click on it, on the left of the page, it's asking you for the name of your page. Try to use a name that's related to your business. So let's say it's my restaurant and I call it, so let's say it's just Jay's restaurant. And you will select a category. Of course, if it's a restaurant, you'll look for a restaurant. And if you have a nice description, you'll enter something here. Once you've entered a description for your page, you will click create page. If you've done that, that's it. You've already getting started with your Facebook business page, but there's a lot more to get done. Let's look at some of the other things you'd want to do. If you've created a new page, it will look something like this. Obviously not that attractive. So you have a lot of work to do, but one step at a time. The second thing you want to do is to create a custom URL. What's that? Right now, if you look at the name of your Facebook page, it's a combination of the name you've selected and some unique number so that there's no second page on the internet like yours. But this is very difficult for someone to remember that. So you want to create a unique name. Now you may not be able to create that just as you get started. You might have to get some persons to like your page after Facebook recognize that you're just not there to spam persons. They will then allow you to create a unique username. So you got to get your friends, families, customers to just like your page and to get above 25 likes normally, and then you'll be able to create your unique username. What does that look like? So if I go to a custom page on hospitality tools and tips, custom page, you will now notice in the URL, I have a unique custom name, much easier for someone to remember. All I have to tell them a hey, visit me at hospitality tools. So this is much easier for them to remember. They just know after the facebook.com, they just type my handle for my page much easier. So create a custom URL so people could find your page very easy. The third thing you want to do is add a captivating cover page. It's one of the first things someone's going to see to the top of your page. You want to choose something that's just going to be stunning. It's on brand. It represents who you are and what people can expect when they get to your page. Let's look at some examples. So here we have Airbnb Facebook page and they just have an image representing of one of their locations that they have. Here's an example of one of my travel pages that I manage. I've just selected one of the beautiful beaches in the Caribbean because that's what this page is about. It's about island staycations in the Caribbean. So the image is on brand and represents the things you could expect to see on the page. So here's an example of British Airways. Now you didn't expect to see American Airlines airplane on the page. Of course not. It's a British Airways page. So they will have a photo representing their brand, a nice image of their planes. So as soon as you get there, you have a feeling of what to expect on the page. Something to notice, if you're going to be selecting an image, you try to get an image with the right resolution. A little technical, but the ideal size for an image is about 820 pixels by 312. 
that's not as important. You want to get something that's going to be large enough, most likely horizontal. Facebook would allow you to reposition it so that you could get the right angle. So even if you don't get all the technical details of the dimensions, try to get something large enough, very good quality, and then reposition it so it's the best way of viewing the image. Number four, add a brand specific profile image. Where does your profile image show up? Let me show you. So just below your cover page, you have your profile photo. In most cases, you may use your logo here or an image that's representing your brand or some sort of icon or so on. Most likely your logo. You'll have it showing up here. So any post you have along the page, you will notice your profile photo showing up. If you go to Target's page, you will see their logo showing up as their profile photo. If we take a look at Canva's page, you will notice again their logo showing up there. So use a brand specific image, most likely your logo. Number five, optimize your about us section. A lot of people don't take notice of this, but it's one of the first things someone is going to see. Normally on the left of your page, they're going to see your about us section. It's a little preview about you. You have space for a paragraph or two that you could just entice someone with a captivating about you section. So where do you see that? On the left of your page, you'll notice it has an option that says about. It's a great opportunity to include a website if you have one, a nice little description about yourself and any other related information. So to the left, you normally will see a preview, but persons may also go to the top of the page and find your about us section where they get a lot more details about your business. So take the time and optimize your about us section. Think about what's most important and who you are and tell that story here in a few paragraphs or so. Number six is work to earn that very responsive badge. Facebook is all about responding to your queries. If someone sends you a query before, they will be okay with waiting a day or two to get a response. But that's not gonna cut it these days. Someone sends you a query online, they're looking for a response within 15 minutes. They're waiting for you to respond there. They're expecting you to be there or someone to be there. If not, they're gonna go somewhere else to get that answer. And that responsive batch is gonna tell them how long are you likely to wait to get a response. Let's look at where you would see that. So here we are on Airbnb's Facebook page. If you scroll down to the left, you'll notice it says very responsive. That means that Airbnb would respond to you most likely within 15 minutes. Now they probably have a huge staff helping them manage this. Even if you don't have that staff, there are a few things you can do. Number one, download the Facebook Business Manager app. It's a great way of filtering your business messages. So when you get a notification from your page, you will be instantly notified on your mobile device so that you could respond immediately. You could also do things like setting frequently asked questions. You could also include so your quick reply. So you don't always have to be typing common questions persons ask. And you might already have the answers to those questions. Some of the most common questions I have answers to is what's the cost of your booking? What do I have to do to make a reservation? Maybe what's your opening hours? What amenities do you offer? These are the common questions you're going to be asked. So just have the auto response for it. So it helps you just to respond very quickly. The final tip I'll share is definitely utilize your call to action. When someone comes to your page, they may want to take a particular action and you want to ensure it's easy for them to do that. They might be looking to book with your property. They might want to learn more about you. They might want to shop on your e-commerce page. They might just want to send you a WhatsApp. What is it that you're most interested in persons to do when they get to your page? You want to add a call to action button for that. How can we do that? Let's take a look. So here on this page, there's a button right here that says edit. Depending on what you currently have there, it might be different for you. If I click on this button, there's an option here to say edit button. Click on it. So you can select options like book now. What about call now? So someone can call you directly. Contact us. Maybe you like them to connect to your website. You could choose learn more. So for example, if I say learn more, I can then enter my website here. Once I've entered the website, I can click save. Now it will update the button to say learn more. So if I visit this as a guest, you'll now notice it has learn more. So if I click on that, it will take me to the website. There you go. Those are some of my top tips to get started on Facebook. 
If you're not on Facebook as yet, you definitely want to take some of these tips and optimize your page. The first few seconds comes when people get to your page, they want to make sure it looks like they're going to get the information they need. You want to make sure you have a stunning cover photo, have a nice profile image such as your logo. You want to include that call to action button and make it easy for people to find your page. Add that custom URL so you can just tell them off the bat, choose my handle or visit me at my business. If you're now getting started with Facebook marketing and looking for some ways to organize your content, I have a special gift for you. I would like to share with you my content calendar template that I use to help me manage my client content that I post from week to week. This is an excellent way for you to organize and figure out what are the pillars that you want to be posting on a regular basis. Having this schedule makes it much easier for you to just organize what you're going to post and when. I'm going to leave a link in the description so when you click on it, you'll be able to download that template to start managing your social media marketing. If this video was useful to you, then definitely like and subscribe as well as click that notification bell so when I post more videos like this, you'll be notified.